Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to save your logs to a remote syslog server. So the first thing that you're going to do is to download the software um, for the server and it's called Visual Syslog Server for Windows and I'm going to put a link in the description so you can um, you'll know where to download the file. So click download and when the application is downloaded just um, run the installation. Just press next, 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 next. And then click finish to launch the application. Alright. So we need to set up the application to receive logs. So click setup. And then what you need to do is to put in the IP address of the computer that the server is running on. So it's running on 192.168.11.198. That is this, this, the IP address for this computer that the server is running on. And uh, click OK. Now we are going to head over to Winbox. And... Uh, do some configuration over there also. So go to system, login, and then click on action. And we're going to go, go to remote. And for the remote address, we're going to put in the IP address for the, the computer that is running the syslog server. 192.168.11.198. Uh, let me just verify that. So it's 198 and uh, we don't need to change anything else. Just apply. OK. And go back to your syslog server. So there's no logs currently generated. So I'm going to generate some logs. Um, and currently there's no log that is um, saving to the log server because all the logs are stored stored to memory or USB. So this particular log, I'm going to change it to be written to remote. So I'm going to change action to remote. Hit apply. OK. And we can look at the logs over here. So logs are being generated over here. All right. So let's just look at the log server and know the log server is being populated with logs. So this is the prefix for this log and it shows the date and time, the IP address of, of the computer, of this router that is sending the logs and the, the log topic. And this is the detail, this is the log detail. So you can double click on the log and get even further details on it. So you can scroll through your logs. Um, you can you can change the, the way in which your logs are displayed and you can do a lot of things with it. You can even filter filter your logs or even change change the way um your log your log is displayed so you can change change the log displays here so there are different themes that you can use so this is the default so all the logs are currently being stored on the log server so there are many different types of syslog servers Linux based, um, Windows based, and a whole lot. So you can choose which type of syslog server you, you need. Um, this is just the easiest one I could find um, to show you how to configure it. But if you, are, if you have a, a Linux server, you could configure syslog on, on that also. So that is how you, you would configure 
your log server and your router um, to store logs remotely. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. So thanks for watching.